What's up guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, it's brought to you by none other than Major Key Physiques. And I'm wearing some right now. Major Key Physiques is a New Zealand based bodybuilding and fitness brand. They have a complete range covering men's, women's and accessories. Everything is sized from small to triple XL. International shipping is always available. The products have all been designed with both aesthetics and quality at the forefront. With over a thousand happy customers and shipping worldwide, there's no reason why you shouldn't check them out. Head down into the description box below, check out the link www.majorkeyphysics.com, use code JACOB20 for 20% off, and come and join the team. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the video. Peace out. Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald, and today, I bring you a reaction to a running back in the world of NFL by the name of Nick Chubb. He's come in at number 26 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2021. He wears number 24 on his back. This video has 250,000 views and almost 5,000 likes. So without further ado, it's time we roll the intro and check out just how well Nick Chubb did during the year of 2020. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Take over right now. Bam! A little stiff on him. Okay, that's one thing I do remember. And probably one thing they're going to focus on. The fact that Nick Chubb don't speak. You'd be hard-pressed to hear him say a bad word about anyone. Uh, let alone any word on the field, actually. So these mic'd up moments are going to be rather interesting. Not today, buddy. Let's stiff arm that guy in tomorrow. He just stiff armed number ninety-five. Oh, stiff arm. Not today, buddy. Oh. There's got to be at least fifty pounds difference in body weight there, surely. Stiff arm that guy in tomorrow. So when you watch the game, just watch me. Hey, nice stiff job, man. Look at Baker. Just so excited. No one ever did me like that. <laughs> stiff on <arm> my ass. <laughs> Why are you doing me like that, man? We're giving it to Nick, so don't worry, fantasy football people. <laughs> Tell you what, this guy has an eye for a gap. He's lively, fast, agile. Got a low center of gravity. He's about 100 kg, 5'10", might be even 5'11". Could be six foot. But as far as the position of running back is concerned, you can't ask for much more. I definitely respect his game. I guess the only worry would be that he doesn't speak. Which would then make me tend to think if I didn't know the way that he played that he might not have, that he might not be able to, you know, muster up uh, the, the levels of aggression needed to be at the top of uh, the NFL. But from what I've seen so far, it doesn't affect him at all. I didn't realize how sneaky fast he is. And man, it was a couple times he outran me. He had me hesitate for a second. And boy, he just burst to the side. And I was just like, yeah, this guy, he for real. Make a ball. Uh, excuse me, Brandon, but in what rule book are running backs not expected to outrun defensive ends. Sorry, mate. Look, you might be fast for your position, but I'd still expect Nick Chubb to win a 100-meter race 10 times out of 10. For real. Nick can ball, and uh, I love watching him run. He can do everything. The only thing more impressive than Nick Chubb's running style is his 20-point rise up the players list. Yeah, I'll give him that. Nick Chubb, that's not somebody you really want to see open field and in the hole. You know, I'm hoping my D-line linebackers take care of that before he gets to me. If I had to uh, rank running backs, um, hardest to tackle, I would say Derrick Henry and then Nick Chubb. He'll run well, the tackles all day. I would just like to see him get the same amount of touches as Derrick and see you know, staff for staff who, who comes out on top. I know he has the ability to, and he's shown it. It was the last game of the season against Cleveland. It broke out the backfield, and I was chasing. I got my angle on him. Now, Minka is a 4-4 safety. And I got in front of him, I cut him off, and I tried to just like, grab him up top 
and he just kind of like swiped me by. He's to the 15, 10, 5, oh. touchdown! Nick Chubb! Well, I can't get over Nick Chubb just taking it. Yeah, Fitzpatrick would be kicking himself over that. 40-some yards there. And he four tackles. Three of them he broke, and then the fourth one he outran. After the game, he walked up to me. He was like, I got you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. You got really? Me. So he does speak. I mean, you got me. Nick Chubb says, follow me. We'll go to the playoffs. Chubb led the Browns to their first playoff win in more than a quarter century. But it was a touchdown he didn't score that showed how valuable Chubb really is. I think uh, the epitome of Nick is also when he took that knee at the one yard line. It's all about the team with Nick. Chubb running on the left side, cuts the corner, turns the corner, drives up the field, and here he comes! He got out, he could have scored a touchdown, could have had personal stats, and just chose to do better for the team and make sure the game was over. Smart move! He stepped out of bounds at the one-yard line so as to just allow the Browns to run the rest of the game clock out. That's a hell of a player right there. That's a hell of a player right there. Raphael. Wow. Okay, now that is a real moment, isn't it? That's a hell of a player right there. That is a real moment, but I'm unsure exactly why he's done that. Are they up by one? Would a touchdown not put them at least eight points in front? I'm not quite sure about that, but we are going to look it up, that's for sure. If Nick is also when he took that knee at the one-yard line. All right, Nick Chubb, one-yard line out of bounds. Chubb intentionally stepped out of bounds at the one yard line with 56 seconds remaining despite zero Texans defenders standing between him and his second rushing score of the afternoon. Houston was out of timeouts, okay, and Baker Mayfield was able to kneel twice to run out the clock. But what was the score? A three point win. The Cleveland Browns were leading 10 points to seven with 107 remaining in regulation. Running back Nick Chubb in his first game back from a knee injury took his final carry of the game, ran off tackle to the boundary turned the corner, and found some daylight. Rumbling 59 yards down the sideline as no Texans defender could catch him. The issue? The end zone was 60 yards away. Chubb intentionally stepped out of bounds at the one-yard line. Although, with 56 seconds to go, let's say he scores. They're up 16-7. Let's say they get the extra point. They're up 17 points to 7. Which would be a relatively solid lead with less than a minute remaining in the game. But it gives them a chance. And that is something that Nick Chubb was not willing to give. And that, my friends, is a real twist to the story and something I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Thank you for watching. Did we hear Nick Chubb say a word? No, but apparently if he gets it over you on the field, he's going to let you know after the game. A few words, two, maybe three, maybe even five. But he is a man of few words and he is Nick Chubb. And he is a running back for the Browns. Best of luck this year, mate. I know you're going to ball out. If I didn't at least give you a couple of pre-draft measurables, plus his height and weight before we take off, I'd be doing an absolute disservice. So, 5'11", 227 pounds. He's played 47 career games. He's got a total of 4,769 rushing yards and 44 rushing touch. He got 15 rushing touchdowns in 15 games last year. No, that was his college season. He runs a 4'5", 240-yard dash, 38.5-inch vertical, 10 foot 8 in the broad jump, 29 reps on the bench. 29 reps? There's 300-pound linemen that don't do that many reps. This guy has some real strength. He's played 46 total career games with almost 4,000 total career rushing yards. He scored 12 touchdowns last year, 8 the year before that and 8 the year before that for a total of 28. Two receiving touchdowns, his first year in the league, bringing his total touchdowns scored to 30. And I wouldn't put it past him to be in double figures again this coming season. Last piece of information, he's secured his second bag. He signed a three-year, $36.6 million contract extension with the Browns on July 31st, 2021. And surely, surely he can at least crack somewhat of a smile over that. Guys, thank you for watching. That brings us to the end of another reaction video. It's been my pleasure, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. That was my elbow.